before today's video gets started, we'd like to take a minute and thank all the subscribers. So keep on watching, keep on liking, and keep on sharing these videos. We'll keep making them. So let's get to the video. But what we really want to know is what do you think it's worth? <laughs> So this is the first one on our list today. This is a 2016 third gen Toyota Tacoma. Everybody that knows this channel knows we absolutely love these trucks. And this one's got 130,000 miles and it's a clean title, insurance rejected to repair. And we just wanted to check it out. This truck right here is a winner. Well, that 2016 Toyota Tacoma, well, it's about to play right now on the auction and we love that truck so we might as well get in the game here mexico's got the high bid at 8300 so south carolina's bidding we're bidding south carolina's got the high bid now at 86 it's just going crazy let's just bid it up here and let them know that we're here 9100 south carolina come right back it's just a bidding war right now between us and south carolina so ten thousand dollars and south carolina's got the high bid now i'm just going to slow it down a little just slow it down bidding right at the last minute ten thousand one hundred we got the high bid it's a really good deal if we can get it for ten thousand it is on reserve and they just outbid us at ten two so we're going to let it count down a little bit we're going to bid it at the last minute at ten three we got the high bid at 10300 Still on reserve. I don't know what the minimum bid is. We just got a heck of a deal. If we can get it, if we can get this truck for 10300 I don't know. They'll let us know. I bet they don't let it go that cheap. But maybe they'll let us know before they just relist it. Well, somehow I knew it wasn't going to go that cheap. They just let us know, though that they would take a bite now for 12,625. I still think that's a really good deal. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and click the button and buy this thing and get it loaded up and take it back home and show you what we got. Well, honestly, we got it home safe and sound. Just got it unloaded, and it's not too bad, just like we thought. I mean, this is a nice truck, a clean title truck, and we've got some parts inside, a lot of parts. And this is the whole reason why that I didn't get this one delivered. I just went and picked it up because I wanted to take care of these parts. We put a lot of them on the inside of the truck because the mirror is good. A lot of that stuff is good. And I always just like to kind of admire everything because I really like these trucks. I get excited every time I get one of them. So I think what I'm gonna do first is go through all these parts in the bed and see what we got and see what we don't got. And then maybe we can get us a list together and get some of this stuff ordered because I really don't think this truck is gonna be that bad and we're definitely not gonna have to paint it all over. So let's go through these parts and then we might give it just a quick wash and kind of get started on and make it look new again.
So right along through here, this radiator supports back just a little bit. I noticed it, but then when I put the hood on, you could really notice it. And in our grill, it's right in here. So we're gonna take just a minute and pull that back out with something. Make that fit nice. And you don't have a frame machine handy. Look here at our big stick pole. We just pull this thing. Right here we got our killer tool, which we're gonna check the square of it right now. With the killer tool tram gauge, I don't know how you can do anything without one. I mean, look at that. This thing should be dead on. So we're gonna put our grill back on and kind of see how it looks now. Check that out now. See, we use this old stick and we use our tram gauge. And well, we just squared this front end back up. That's about the best we can tell with these old busted up parts. But if you ask me, this thing is looking really good. And this truck is a winner. I knew it was a winner when we looked at it a month or so ago. We waited on it and we pounced on it. And man, this truck is looking good. So let's keep on working, putting some stuff back together because in order to fix this wreck, we got to unwreck it and get it all back together because we didn't take it apart so we can see what we need to do. We just spent just a little bit of time taking this truck from wrecked to unwrecked. And I took that rear bumper, put all of those pieces back together to make sure that everything was gonna work. And we're gonna have to buy a couple of pieces for this. Not a lot. We're gonna have to buy the plastic piece here and both of the white plastic pieces on each side. And then we probably have to get maybe a parking sensor. I did like a really good job taking this thing and putting it back together to see where we were at. The front end on it, it's looking really, really good. We're gonna have to buy just a little bit for up front. And I'm thinking about getting a grill that's all black in the middle and then white on the surround. What do y'all think about that? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the grill for this truck. Cause I'm thinking white and black is gonna look real good. But the bumper's in good shape. The headlights, both of them are just not gonna make it. So I got on the Facebook Marketplace and found some headlights. I kind of put that front end back together to a place where I know what I need to get and what I need to get ordered and what we're gonna have to paint and what we're not gonna have to paint and what we're gonna need to fix and what don't need to be fixed. This truck is a winner. I set it from day one. So let's give it a nice wash, kind of clean everything off. It hadn't had a wash, I know, in months and months. It's got the green algae growing on it. So we're gonna give it a wash, clean it all up, and then wait on some parts to come in and start putting this thing together. Well, I tell you what, it's the next day here. We're ready to start getting some of this stuff painted. We gotta get this bedside painted, and then we've got a brand new grill. Check that thing out. Got it all unboxed and ready to go on. We're gonna paint that grill surround right there. Gonna paint that white. We've got our new bumper pieces. They're already ready to go, and they're gonna go right there. That's just the old one. So we're gonna jump in this truck, and we're gonna ride it up to the booth gonna get all this stuff painted. Hopefully it turns out really good, not a lot of paint work. And then we'll start putting everything back together and get this truck 
right back on the road. We spent a few minutes today getting our grill painted, kind of putting our new headlights in, getting rid of the old ones. A little bit off camera, I removed this clear guard, this paint protector, you know, the clear film, clear bra, whatever you want to call it. Our bedside, it turned out really good. That thing looks almost perfect. And then our bumper pieces, well, they turned out extra good also. Waiting on a couple of parking sensors to come in and just a couple more parts. And then we'll have this Bigfoot Edition Toyota Tacoma put right back together again. I've also ordered this little sticker that goes on the door frame here. And then we've got our rain shield to go back at the top. Man, this truck's coming together. So leave us a comment below and let us know what you think about the build so far. Probably gonna have to buff that hood though and get it all shined back up, but the grill turned out really nice. Well, this brings us to the part of this video where we like to break it on down with all the costs and all the expenses. But I did want to share with y'all this estimate that I found in this truck from the body shop. And basically, this is a 2016 Toyota Tacoma four-wheel drive TRD Sport. It's got leather, it's got a sunroof, it's got heated seats, it's got 136,000 miles on it. And well, the insurance estimate for parts and labor on repairing this truck was $2,548.71. I have no earthly idea why they decided to give up on it and why it found itself at Copart, but I wrote it all down for you. 
So we're gonna break down the total cost of this truck. We paid $12,625, buy it now on Copart, plus $1,098 for Copart fees. I went and picked it up myself, so we'll just call that a day trip. But then it comes to the parts. So all of the parts that we bought, just a bunch of little bitty miscellaneous parts, even bought a brand new set of floor mats, and those parts came to $664. And that brings our total cost that we have invested in this truck to $14,387 for a 2016 TRD Sport four-wheel drive, 136,000 miles, got a sunroof, got heated seats, and a clean title. But what we really want to know it's what do you think it's worth? What could we sell this truck for? Because I think we want to put it up for sale. I think that we'd like to make somebody a good deal in this truck. It probably would blue book for right around 22,000. So maybe we should ask the middle of the road around 22,000 for it. It's a super nice truck. We call it the Storm Trooper. I was gonna go with the Bigfoot Sasquatch, but this truck, She's a stormtrooper. We'll let y'all know that we did sell the Nissan Titan and we did sell the 2007 Tacoma. And if you want us to do a video with a breakdown of how much we had in them and how much we sold them for, leave it in the comments below. Let us know what you want to see. But I think we ran out of time for this video today, guys. But don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Orange Wires Garage. We always post there before YouTube. A special thanks to all the subscribers. We'll catch you guys next time in the next episode. We could surprise you.